Hi, this is Tom, amateur radio call sign N8FDY. And today we are doing the 6,000 count meter summary. We're going to go over what we uh, did in general with the 6,000 count meters and uh, show you a little bit of what's going on and uh, go from there. We have the Facindi 18B Plus for $20.95 from Amazon. We got the Zotec ZT300AB for $39.99 from Amazon. We got the Unity UT139S for $66.88 from TME.com in Poland. Here's the triplet MM650 for $70.99. I got it as a refurb at the triplet.com. It's the triplet 9055 for $90.99. I got it at triplet.com as a refurb. This is an EV blog BM235 for $139 from Amazon. Greenlee DM510A, $148.99 from Amazon. The Fluke 17B Max, $149.97 off of eBay. Here's the Fluke 177 for $274.49 from Circuit Specialist. Here's the Fluke 87. Roman numeral 5, or some people call it the 87V, for $318.62 from Lowe's.com. And here's the Fluke 87 Roman numeral 5 Max. Some people call it the 87V Max. This was $500.98 from T-Equipment.net. And if they're out of it, you can get it for $530 at uh, Newark. So that's the group of meters we reviewed. There's a detailed review on each one of those. And uh, also there is a written review on each one of those on my GitHub site, which each video review has a, a link to the written review. All right, we're going to do a voltage test. We went through all this on each individual review but I thought you might want to see all the meters together. Oh, somebody else just turned off. This is 2.5005 as measured on my uh, Keithley MM6500 that was calibrated uh, in February, and that's a six and a half digit uh, bench meter. Anyway, Five point zero 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 nine volts. Considering the wide variation in specifications, it's interesting how close they are. This is seven five zero one six. Since these are all six thousand count meters, you see that they uh, lost one digit of resolution when we went over six thousand. Here is. 10.001. Now I'm going to use my arbitrary waveform generator to generate uh, 2 volts AC 60 hertz sine wave. And we're going to check out how these guys do on AC. Just a little bit. We are using the EEV blog 121GW which I discovered in my 50,000 count reviews, which I haven't produced yet, but I have been researching it. It has the best accuracy specifications of all the 50,000 count meters. So we're using that to uh, try to adjust the arbitrary waveform generator to as close as two volts as we can get it. 
we have 2.0011 volts and you can see how it turns out on all the meters. Now we're going to measure some DC current. This is 0.89 microamps. Current. This is 9.21 microamps. Ninety nine point zero microamps. This is a hundred and thirty one point eight microamps. Well, we switched to milliamps and now we have one point oh oh milliamp. Now we have 9.96 milliamps. Now we have 99.4 milliamps. This is a chart comparing the voltage and current accuracy specifications in the manuals of each one of the meters in this 6,000 count group. The red background for the name of the meter indicates that that meter does not have any third-party testing information. All the other meters do. The green squares point out the highest or most stringent specification, and the yellow squares point out the least stringent specification of the group. I believe that specifications in the manual are very important because that is what the manufacturer says the meter will do. It is apparent many of these meters are closer or more accurate than the specifications, but if you get a meter that is not and you want the manufacturer to replace it, it meets the specifications in the manual, then they won't replace it. And here's the chart with the accuracy comparisons for resistance and capacitance for this 6,000 count meter group. Well, now that we saw the meters work together a little bit, we're going to talk about each one. The Cindy 18B Plus, $20.95 at Amazon. The outstanding pros are it's inexpensive, and all my tests show that it meets the manual's accuracy specifications. The major cons, it has no indication of third-party safety testing, and most current ranges and capacitive ranges have low accuracy. This is good in voltage, okay for resistance, not so good for current, and bad for capacitance. My recommendation is don't buy it. The only time you would buy this is if you wanted a throwaway meter and you absolutely were not going to use it in a Category 3 or 4 environment. You would only use it for Category 1 or 2. Next, the Zotec ZT300AB. It was $39.99 at Amazon. Its significant pros were the DC voltage accuracy was good for a low-cost meter and it has Bluetooth connectivity. Its major cons are there's no indication of any third-party safety testing and it has low impedance for the DC voltage range. And that could load down a high impedance circuit. So it's good for voltage, okay for resistance, not so good for current, and bad for capacitance. My recommendation for this meter is don't buy it. Uh, the only time you'd want this is if you definitely need your Bluetooth connectivity and you're not going to connect it to any Category 3 or Category 4 environments. But there's other meters that can do this that are safe, so I recommend don't buy it. The Unity UT139S, $66.88 from TME.com in Poland. It is ETL listed for Canada and U.S which means it's been third-party safety tested. It met specifications for all DC voltage currents and resistance tested. The downside is it's 600 volts maximum, and 
below average capacitance specification. This meter does okay with voltage, current, and resistance, and it is third-party tested for safety. You can buy it under the triplet name in the U.S. and get a one-year warranty. My recommendation? Uh, probably not. I can see where you would get one of these, and of course they're safe, and you want to stay under 600 volts. Um, if you're going to do boat anchor work, you could go over 600 volts, so you wouldn't want this meter. And it's not the most accurate meter. But if your budget dictates, this is probably the, uh, this is the cheapest third-party safety tester meter I've found. So if your budget only permits you to go uh, $67, then you might have to get this one. The next is the triplet MM650. It's $70.99 from triplet.com. I bought it refurbished. The refurbished model did not work. I had problems with it. I contacted them and within two days they sent me a brand new one and they didn't want the old one back. So essentially I tested a brand new meter but only paid for a refurbished one. The major good sides is it meets specifications for all the measurements I tested. It is IP67 water and dust resistant. There's no indication of any third-party safety testing and most specifications are below average. In order to use the IP67, you must use their leads that came with the meter, and you must plug these two plugs in, in the unused holes. So you have to be cautious about that. So my recommendation is uh, no, I wouldn't buy it. The triplet 9055, it's $90.99. I bought it at triplet.com as a refurbished unit. Pros, almost all measurements met the specifications in the manual. It measures light and sound. Uh, the major cons are no indication of third-party safety testing, and most specifications are below average accuracy for this group of meters. If you want to test light and sound in a combination meter, this is, this is it, but... Uh, Everything else is kind of subpar, so my recommendation is no, don't buy it. If you need to measure sound, get a sound pressure meter. If you need to measure light, get a light meter. And if you need to measure anything else, get one of the meters I recommend. The EEV blog BM235 is $139 at Amazon. Its major pros are third-party safety tested, by UL. All measurements met accuracy specifications. The major downsides are the capacitance reading below one nanofarads are not useful and you must send this to Taiwan for warranty service. This is my number one pick for the sweet spot of price versus performance in this group of meters. So my recommendation is if you want a 6,000 count meter uh, this would be a good one to buy. It's the cheapest one I recommend, $139 at Amazon. Next, the Greenlee DM510A. It's $148.99 at Amazon. This is third-party tested by UL. It has a limited lifetime warranty from Greenlee, so it, you can get service in the United States. Uh, the major downside, capacitance readings below 1 nanofarad aren't very useful. It has lower than average microvolt DC input impedance, which could load down high impedance circuits. This is my number two in the sweet spot of price versus performance in this group of 6,000 count meters. So I, my recommendation is uh, if you want something you can get repaired in the United States, uh, this is the one for you. Next, we have the Fluke 17B Max. It's $149.97 on eBay. Uh, it is third-party safety tested by CSA. No measurement range accuracy specification on this meter is above average. 
Uh, this is a gray market meter with no support. The current and capacity ranges aren't very good. There's much better meters at a lower price. So my recommendation is don't buy this. Next we have the Fluke 177. It's $274.49 at Circuit Specialist. It is third party safety tested by CSA. The DC millivolts accuracy specification are the best in this group of 6,000 count meters. There is no microamp range. Uh, the capacitance readings below 10 nanofarads are not meaningful because of the high uncertainty value. This is a niche meter that would appeal to electricians, but because there is no microamp range, I don't think it's a good idea for electronic projects. If you don't need that and you want the Fluke lifetime warranty and you want a smaller meter, uh, this might be for you, but my recommendation for electronic projects, don't buy it. Now we have the Fluke 87 Roman numeral 5. Some people call it the 87V. It's $318.62 from Lowe's.com. This is third-party safety tested by CSA. has a limited lifetime warranty. The major downside is it has only average accuracy in the 600 kiloohm and 6 megaohm range of, the, of this 6,000 count meter. This meter has either the highest accuracy or above average accuracy for all the other ranges. My recommendation is buy it. If you want a little higher class meter with a little more performance than the uh, than the EEV blog or the Greenly, you'd get this one. If you're on a tighter budget, you would get those. But if you can afford this meter, I would. This is the meter I would get. Now we have the Fluke 87 Roman numeral 5 Max. Some people call it the 87V. This is $500.98 at tequipment.net. If it's out of stock there, it's $530 at Newark. This is third-party safety tested by CSA. This is IP67 water and dust protection. It has a limited lifetime warranty. The downsides are has a dim backlight. It's the bulkiest and heaviest of the 6,000 count meters. And it's the most expensive of the 6,000 count meters. You're basically paying for that IP67 water and dust protection. This does have a couple of more. This in the two resistance ranges that the uh, 87 Roman numeral 5 had lower accuracy, this one has higher accuracy. So this meter has even more accurate in more ranges than all the other meters. My recommendation is if you need a waterproof meter and you can afford it, you should buy it. Well, that's the wrap-up of the 6,000 count meter reviews. I hope it was helpful, and uh, we will have 10 and 20,000 count meter reviews and 50,000 count meter reviews in the future. This is Tom, N8FDY, saying 73, and take it easy.